Josh Rubin, eastwesthealing.com. Sit in my desk and I'm thinking about it. Everyone focuses on iron and ferritin to know if they're anemic. The problem is this, being truly anemic is very rare. The only way you can be truly anemic is if you bleed out excessively. Now, of course, women are more susceptible to getting anemia, but think about this. Anemia is the sign of a deeper-rooted issue, which is hypothyroidism. It's actually a symptom of being a hypothyroid. Why? Well, Brodebarn showed that the lower our body temperature, the less blood cells we actually produce. And this is interesting. Why? Because the less CO2 we produce at the cell level, and the less CO2 we actually breathe in or retain through breathing, the less le red blood cells we actually produce. So the better we breathe, the better our cells breathe, the more red blood cells we produce and the more oxygen we can get to our tissues. Now when we're in a hypothyroid state and we're not producing CO2 at the cell level or retaining CO2 and we're actually not even breathing in enough oxygen and we're expelling too much CO2 on the physiological level, what happens is we produce less red blood cells. How does this have to do with anemia? Well, over 70% of iron in the body is found in red blood cells.